Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is three days or three hours of darkness. Luke or Matthew. Brothers and sisters, here in this video I want to bring to you that we might have as a Rachel Bride only three hours of darkness. Because the Lord told us for the timeline that is about the tenth hour. So the suffering for him on the cross was for the from the uh, six hours to the ninth hour, three hours suffering. And then in the tenth hour there was rest. So it could be that we have three hours of darkness. That is not 100% clear yet. No matter what, let us prepare for three days. But let us also go first to, to some scripture and have a look. Brothers and sisters, if we go to Matthew uh, chapter 12, verse 38 to 40, and we read, Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. But he answered, said to them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. And this is very important, brothers and sisters. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And because we know that the Gospel of Matthew is for the Jews, is for the trumpet tribulation, for the second half of it, we know now this is the time uh, for this is the three days of darkness is for the trumpet tribulation and not for our time. So do, what do we see in Luke? In Luke 23, 54 to 56, we see that was the day was a preparation and the Sabbath drew near. The preparation for the Sabbath was a holy day. And the woman who had come with him from Galilee followed after, and they observed the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and oils, and they rested on the Sabbath according to the commandment. Now you see here the focus is not on the three days in the grave, nor even on the resurrection. The focus is on him getting rest now. The focus is now on, on a different time frame. The focus is now after it was finished on the cross. He was now put into the grave. And the suffering on the cross was three hours. So, brothers and sisters, I do not exactly know how this would fit in, but we also understand that the time of Luke is for the Leah bride, and the Leah bride will go into rest. The ones who will not volunteer, the ones who will not volunteer as a harvest worker, this Leah bride will go with the innocent children into rest, into the third heaven. So therefore I believe that the Luke verse is speaking about hours and not of days. So it could be three hours instead of three days. That would also make more sense if you have a look at the brides. Why should the brides suffer like the lost ones or the ones who have not opened their eyes like that one in Matthew? for three days and three nights. It was the refusal of Jonah that brought him into the whale. The, of, the refusal not to, not to accept the, the commandments and the order of the Lord that, will brought, that brought Jonah into the whale. But the bride is willing, it's volunteering. It said, yes, Lord, come and take us. So I do not believe that we have three days and three nights of terror or anything like that. The lost, yes. The sleeping churches, yes, they have not woken up, they have not volunteered. But the bride, I only think there are three hours and that's the reason why we see it. How could be three days of darkness doing a seven, seven days of wedding? It's impossible. So I think we have three days of darkness, then the wedding commences and then we have seven days of wedding and then Jesus turns to Rachel and everything will start and begin. That will make much more sense, brothers and sisters. Because we have volunteered. We have said yes to the Lord already. We have said yes to the kingdom of God. 
and we will serve the Father as never before, even in greater exploits than Jesus has done himself. We will enter the Hades and take the people out. We are ready to do that. We are trained. We are ready. We are waiting for our assignments. We are waiting for the portal in heaven to open so that our bridegroom is comes and that everything will commence. There will be no three days of darkness for the bride. Three hours, yes. That one I can agree with. And the Lord suffered three days on the cross, uh, three hours on the cross. Also the bride who is now one with him will suffer for three hours. From the sixth to the ninth hours. And then on the tenth hour, the tenth hour will then be the happiness. The rest for for the for the Leah bride and the, the looping and the start in our new resting place after the loop, our new resting place with Christ Jesus in in our new on our new page in our new destiny for the Rachel bride. Take it to the Lord. This is not something I have received from the Lord. It's not a revelation from the Lord. It is just why I was thinking about it, because some people brought it up, and even for me it was not clicking so 100% that the three days, that we should suffer three days, because we are we are not the blind one. We are not the lost one. We are not the one who have refused service. We are the ones that have volunteered. So for us should be the Christ suffering three days. On uh, three hours on the cross, and then in the tenth hour. That's the reason why the the Lord highlighted the tenth hour. But for the ones who are blind, who are not willing to follow, they will have three days of darkness where they cannot open the should not open the windows, should not go out. This is all about demonic spirits and satanic things that comes during the trumpet tribulation, and that's lined out in Matthew with the sign of Jonah. Jonah was the one who refused. The bride is not refusing, and since the bride will become one with the bridegroom, the bride should suffer as Jesus has suffered. Three hours. Take it to the Lord. Something to ponder about for today. Brothers and sisters, happy Passover. We are in Passover now. So let's see what will happen in the next three days going forward to the 31st of March. We are looking for the opening of the heavens, we are looking for our bridegroom to come, we are looking for the first wedding and then to our destiny and purpose here on earth. The looping and that everything what the Lord has promised will be provided and that we can fulfill our destiny that we have agreed to even before we were born. Thank you, brothers and sisters, that you are standing with Triple Grace. I love you all so dearly. And take it to the Lord. Maybe we will find in that three days an, an answer to the three hours or, or if it's longer of darkness. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.